name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you, My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. You have come to restore the bond between God and us. We pray to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come to heal us of all of our illnesses. We pray to you, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You come to reveal to us the greatness of God's goodness. We pray to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O Lord, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who has prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may obtain your promises, which surpass every human desire. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants. All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Now at that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did homage to Jesus, saying, Lord, help me. And he said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. But she said, Please, Lord, even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is an interesting conversation or dialogue between Jesus and the Canaanite woman. Too often, I think, we think of Jesus as sweet, Jesus, but here he kind of reacts strongly, reminding the Canaanite woman that his mission is first and foremost to his own people, the Jews. But yet she is persistent. She has faith that Jesus will heal her daughter. And it's that faith that moves Jesus to heal her daughter. And what we see in this simple story is that faith is much more than holding a series of propositions in our mind. Faith is also a relationship. It is a relationship with God, a relationship with Jesus Christ. And this woman, though she was not a Jew, though she was a pagan, she enjoyed a deep relationship with Christ Jesus. 
She believed that he was the Son of God. And because of her faith, her daughter was healed from that hour. So. I confess, no, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you heard the prayer of the woman who asked for your mercy. We ask you now to hear our prayer. for the church, that we may be a house of prayer for all peoples, welcoming everyone who seeks the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our leaders, that they may observe what is right and do what is just, and in doing so, lead us in pursuing justice and goodness for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For immigrants and refugees around the world who seek a better life for themselves and their families, that they may be kept safe from harm as they learn to call a new nation home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all candidates for priesthood in our diocese, that they may have the courage of their convictions and the generosity to act upon them if they believe in their hearts that God is calling them to the priesthood. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of our community that are in need of prayer and whose intentions are contained in this basket, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God of all, we trust in your extravagant grace, unlimited by limitations, unbounded by boundaries foreign to no one. Listen to the prayers that we offer for all our sisters and brothers and grant them according to your will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, my sisters and brothers in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good in the middle of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human family, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all of your creatures serve you, that all of the redeemed praise you, and that all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels and saints, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night when he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, my blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, that we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis and St. Clair, and with all of the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church here on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the order of bishops and all of the clergy and the entire people you have gained as your own. Listen graciously to this family which you have gathered here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you give to the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, <coughs> graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with you. and offer each other some form of the greeting of Christian peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image here on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and with your spirit. Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we to be called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. 